It's a base for a large number of interesting historic vessels. And then there'll be the modern tower hotel just in front of Tower Bridge. On the port side we'll pass the magnificently restored Butler's Wharf. As we go through Tower Bridge, ahead of the Waverley will be London Bridge. To the south side of London Bridge will be the Shard. Nearer to the Waverley, actually of course in the upper pool of London, HMS Belfast will be on our port side. That's the preserved World War II cruiser, now part of the Imperial War Museum. And tied up alongside the Belfast will be the RFA, the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Proteus, a brand new naval, naval ship that uh, arrived in London to stay for a week or so uh, a couple of days ago. And then on the starboard side, ahead of the Waverley, up in the sky, you'll see the dome of St Paul's Cathedral. And as we pass through the bridge, immediately on the starboard side will be the Tower of London. And just beyond that will be Tower Pier, where we'll be finishing our journey today. Now, this is the last sailing to Waverley of 2024 on the River Thames. And I'd just like, on behalf of the uh, Paddle Seaver Preservation Society and all of the passengers on the Thames for the past two and a half weeks, to offer our thanks to Captain McCall and all the crew of the Waverley, the engineers, the deck officers, the deck crew, the catering staff, and even the person who orders you about. Um, so our thanks to everybody. It's been very busy. They've had to work very hard. And they now have to look forward to a voyage around to the English Channel, around Land's End, up the Irish Sea, back to Glasgow, to do a final two days on the River Clyde, her home port in Glasgow, next weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, as Jeremy's just mentioned, when Waverley passes under Tower Bridge and berths alongside Tower Pier, this will not just mark the end of your cruise today, but also the end of Waverley's 2023 season on the Thames. Before we reach the bridge, on behalf of all involved with the Waverley, I'd like to give our appreciation to everyone who's helped make Waverley's season on the Thames such a success and so enjoyable. In particular, to Jeremy Gold, Roger and Pam Bolton and Flo McEwen, for providing their insightful commentary throughout the Thames season. To Geoffrey Ryder, Stephen Kennett, Peter, Peter Bushell, Graham Adam and all the PSPS volunteers who have helped to run the ship's souvenir shop and sell raffle tickets on deck, thank you for your commitment and helping to raise funds for the Waverley. And most of all, thanks to you all and everyone who stepped on board Waverley during our time on the Thames this year for contributing to Waverley's continued existence and operation. Waverley's Thames season has gone almost flawlessly, with large numbers carried and good weather. The only disruption occurred when Tower Bridge failed to open for us last Thursday, an issue which I think can hardly be blamed on Waverley. Once all passengers have disembarked at Tower Pier, Waverley will make her final departure from the capital and will not return until next year. She'll make passage back home to Glasgow for the final sailings of the year next weekend, Throughout 2023, Waverley's carried well over 150,000 passengers, making this Waverley's busiest and most successful season in at least 20 years. So thank you all for being a part of that, and enjoy the spectacle of Waverley going under a floodlit tower bridge tonight. Thank you very much.
London Tower here, could all passengers please prepare to disembark and have all tickets ready for collection at the gangway. In the interest of safety, we ask all passengers to please be aware that there may be some sudden movement as the ship bears. Please, ladies and gentlemen, if possible, could you please move to the left-hand side or port side of the ship where possible. This will greatly assist us in berthing the Waverley this evening and will be beneficial in getting you all disembarked as soon as we can. Thank you all once again for sailing aboard Waverley today. We very much hope you've enjoyed your cruise with us today and we hope to see you again. And in the famous words of an old purser, an old friend of the Waverley, much missed friend of the Waverley, have a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year and we look forward to seeing you in 2024. Thank you. Thank you.